guys happy thursday um it's actually tuesday when i'm filming this but you will probably see this vlog on thursday i am current i just finished getting ready and sam is in he has been on calls all day he's trying to like do some new system document or whatever for the part in his company he works for and he's just been on phone calls with his coworkers. they're trying to get all the stuff figured out and it is like overwhelming af to hear about but wanted to show you guys this belly because i showed you guys a 17 week bump date <laughs> i went to sleep last night so i my belly has it, i popped it like 13 14 weeks I, I feel like my belly kind of popped a little bit early but it still was like in that is she pregnant? Has she had too much cupcakes? Had too many cupcakes kind of phase? Um, it didn't get much bigger until I feel when I hit 20 weeks. I feel like my stomach stayed the same size. 20 weeks, it definitely was like, hey, I'm here. But even then, it's bigger at night than it is in the morning times, which is super normal for pregnant, not pregnant, everyone. I, I mean, I think that's just how the day goes because you eat. Last night, I went to bed and I was like, okay, my belly looks really round. I ate a bunch today. And then I woke up and I was like, so this is just how my belly looks now. <laughs> let, me show, let me show you this baby bump. I mean, we definitely, we've, you know, got a bump. But then I turned to the side and I feel... Look at that thing. I feel like it's not even coming off on camera how like, I guess I feel probably bigger than I look. Look at that. Crazy. I remember I talked about this in a, in a video. I got some like rude, not rude comments, but well, no rude comments. When I first like showed my belly bump, my baby bump in like one of my first videos and someone was like, do you have twins running your family? Is your due date correct? And I was like, sis, Doctors don't just miss whole ass babies and like get due dates wrong because you didn't start showing till 20 weeks. Some of us show significantly earlier. So I was an early belly popping mama and I feel like now he is a large and in charge. Like he is there and I can feel, I'm starting to feel kicks a lot more regularly. Definitely not. I feel like the smack dab middle of the day when I'm like at my most busy, I'm not feeling him move a lot, but um morning and night really no matter what i'm doing he's there he is kicking um and what's so funny is they told me so the original ultrasound tech for my baby's debut told me that i had a posterior placenta i think that's what the term is and i was like okay cool and she was like so you should feel him early and when i went in for my anatomy scan they were like no you have an anterior placenta so you might not feel him for a while and i was like well i feel him now and they were like yeah no i mean that's normal like you definitely can feel him. You're not feeling other things, but it's just, you know, you probably won't feel strong kicks until you're, I think they said 24 weeks. But I was just like, how, how do you, how does an ultrasound tech like miss a placenta placement? But I trust the doctor one more than, you know, obviously any other one just because solely medical reasons. But um, yeah, he definitely has been making himself known. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch. Um, and then I gotta do lots of work stuff today, so probably not a lot today, but tomorrow I'm rewarding myself if I can get everything done work-wise, and we are going to Target to be basic AF tomorrow. Hey guys, oh, I put my glasses on. Hey guys, okay, so I, this coat does not match with my outfit. It is from Target like two years ago, I think. Um, I am headed to Target now. I, my mom was supposed to go with me, uh, she had, like plans this morning to go see one of her friends like new horses and then her friend asked her if she wanted to ride the horses and she was like i don't want to cancel plans with you and i was like mom target will be there tomorrow the offer to ride horses will not always be there so she actually is um with her friend today but i'm going to go to target i'm gonna go get a panera salad for lunch that i saw online last night it looked so good and what i liked about it is only 420 calories for the entire salad with dressing and it has 27 grams of protein because it's got almonds and chicken in it and i was like 27 grams of protein is like really good especially for a salad and i know that usually when you you know add meat to stuff you do get a higher protein content but like 27 grams is a lot for a salad so um if it's good i will share what that is if it's not good i'll probably still share it but i can't remember what it's called right now i wrote it down um but i'm gonna take my butt to target for the day and hopefully 
I don't know what I'm really, like I don't really have goals. I'm just gonna kind of look through their holiday stuff. Definitely gonna take a search through the boy stuff. Um, and then I'll look at some of the regular fashion stuff, but you guys were cracking me up. I just got on my Instagram stories. And the last video we posted was the baby names we like but won't be using. And a lot of you guys were guessing J names. Um, a lot of people are convinced his name is Joseph. And I got a couple, someone said Josiah in my DMs. Someone DM'd me and said, I don't have a guess, but I know it's a J name. Actually, a couple people said that. Um, what was another one? Joshua, which we have a friend named Joshua. So that is definitely, def and I like, he's also one of those mischievous friends that's like, so he, it's, it's not Joshua. But um, I'm just waiting for my car to warm up and then we're hopefully gonna go to Target. I hope it's not too busy. It's still very early in the day, um, but we will see. I really think COVID me just like was so optimistic that I forget that like, things are going back to normal, things are back to normal, and stores are insane. Like even I remember this time last year, stores were not crazy, you guys, Target was so overwhelming. And you of course always have those people who just don't pay attention. Like I remember when I was little, my dad used to tell us every time before we get out of the car, okay, we're gonna go into the store, we're gonna be other oriented, meaning you're gonna like pay attention to the people around you. You're going to think about others and you're not just going to walk backwards and swing your buggy full 360 and hit children and act like it's their fault. That literally happened. A woman backed up and like whipped her whole buggy around and hit a kid and just like looked at him. And he didn't cry or anything, but I was just like, lady. Like, I mean, I, I think it's just pretty common sense not to walk backwards in stores like with aggression and like force. But all I bought, you guys, I wasn't even in there long, <laughs> was baby stuff and food. If that doesn't tell you that my ass is pregnant, I don't know what will, but I got, okay, Jingle Blend Trail Mix. It's very high in calorie, 220 calories for a quarter of a cup. But I got this, because it's good. And then also this one, this was like one of the hidden ones, like they had some other kinds of popcorn and I found this one. Um, this is the dark chocolate with sea salt caramel corn clusters, 150 calories for two thirds of a cup. It comes this huge thing. Um, I am a sucker for popcorn, any kind of popcorn. It doesn't matter, but I try and be good because I know that popcorn can get very unhealthy very fast. Not like it's, you know, the most overwhelmingly healthy thing in the entire world. Um, so now I'm going to go to, oh, and I went to Starbucks and got a skinny hot chocolate and y'all, they didn't have Christmas cups. Um, but now I'm gonna go to Panera and then grab that salad and then head home. So I always, I think it really was like COVID rocked me and I just feel like I forget that everything's back to normal. Um, also because we work from home. So like Sam and I are in our little bubble. So when we come out, we're like, God, it's so busy. And it actually like isn't, it probably isn't that busy. It's just, it seems busy to us. So I'm gonna go to Panera now and order my salad. I am so excited. All right, Asian sesame chicken salad. I cannot wait to eat this. I got a whole one and the whole one is 420 calories. Yum. My makeup's messed up from my sunglasses and mask. We a mess, but Asian sesame chicken salad from Panera. I'm gonna try it for the first time. I can already tell you I'm gonna like it. I've tasted some of the dressing and it tastes so good. Let me make sure I get a little bit of everything. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, new addiction. This is superior to Zaxby salads. This is so, so good. It's a lot of salad too. It is delicious. Um, look at this, you scavenger. Uh, I don't think so. Let me think about it though. All right, so I needed to put my earrings in. These are from Kendra Scott. They are so cute. I have them in gold and I got them for my mom in silver and I love them. They actually, let me check the deal that they're having today, hold on. Okay, so they have 15% off one style, 20% off two styles, or 30% off three plus styles. It excludes fine jewelry. The ground shipping cutoff is not until next week. Wow, to arrive before Christmas. So I'll link these for you guys, they are adorable. And I like, like I've been all about the holiday stuff this year um, and I like that these are holiday but not like gaudy and like red and have rhinestones all over them. Um, so 
They're very pretty and simple. I have got to get back to some work stuff though. I'm getting really distracted today. <laughs> In case you can't tell by the way this vlog is going. Uh, but I did want to thank you guys so much for all the prayers for my little brother. Daniel went to the cardiologist today. Didn't get many answers um, because, you know, any doctor is going to run their own tests and do their own kind of thing. Um, but he, so they put him on a heart monitor for three days. And I was like telling Sam, I was like, this is such a bougie heart monitor. So I told you guys in the last vlog, I was on a heart monitor in college for a heart issue that did eventually go away. But I got it and it was like one of those you have to wear a fanny pack with and it had like all the wires and it was like stuck all over me. And I ended up, I got it at urgent care and I wasn't aware I was going. And so they were like, oh, by the way, like you only have to wear this for 24 hours, but you can't shower with this, but you can't take it off. I was like, what? He has this like bougie little thing. It's like this big maybe and it's just like, put in the center of his chest and he has to mail it back in three days. And I was like, that is so fancy. Like we've come so far since I was apparently in the dark ages in 2000, it was 2015 actually. So it's been six years, probably had those devices, but I just was like, okay, brother, you get the high tech heart monitor. I see. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for the prayers though. He will, we're still keeping positive about it.